Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We got five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Always do your best, but don't overdo. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body, you deplete your soul, and you go against yourself. And it'll take longer for you to accomplish your goal. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 158, NASDAQ down 13, SP's up 11 and a half, gold. Gold contract trading up $16.40 at 2020 an ounce. You get silver up 29 cents, $25.21 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 70, trading $81.44 a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note down four ticks, trading 115.12, the 30 year. Down seven at 132.11 and King Dollar. King Dollar trading down 376 at 102.203. The Euro is at 109. The Yen is at 133. And the British Pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. I'm going to show you this quick because this is pretty cool, man. Okay, so I'm going to look at the futures for a second, right? I just want to show you this, and I, I, I suspect there's plenty of tigers and tigresses that are doing these, but this, is, this, this doesn't always set up like this. Okay, see this high volume low right here? So that high volume low right there, I'll just do this quickly, okay, is at a price point of 4128, right? But now watch this. If I go into the SPY and you look at that same number, right, what you're going to see here is that that number is 408.92, okay? So what this is all about, this is all about the one-day options, folks. When we were just here, up here, the, so get this number again, 409.9, no, 408.92, right? Well, when we were just up here, just before I got on the air, the four tens were a nickel, yes. So that means five bucks, okay? So I'm, I'm not, I'm, if you don't trade options, uh, you don't, uh, you, you, number one, you want to understand how options work. Number two, you understand time decay, all of the above. There's a lot of things to understand. But what's going to happen is that you're going to see a lot of deals that get set up like this. Now, this is the first one that I, I saw. It's just so blatant, okay? Because of the way that the market went up yesterday real slow and today real slow, they sucked everything out of these things. So they were a nickel. I'm not, I, I'll, I'll find out what they are. But the, you get my gist. Because if they go down here, that basically $5, um, well, that 50 bucks is going to turn into 1200 That's how that works. Um, now, we haven't seen anything like that since the OEX options. I used to trade OEX options as Kevin Hanks did, as anyone that was around at that time, which was a long time ago. Um, and it, towards the end of the day, they can get really interesting. Uh, you know, in, in the context of, yeah, if 50 bucks, you can lose 50 bucks in a second, but big deal, right? You don't get that many opportunities with that type of risk versus reward. And that's that right there, even to close is a beauty. It would, I mean, you could already close it and percentage wise, you, could, you would have done really well. Because they jump immediately, okay, when, when they get something like that. Like that one bar when it just come on makes a jump. But the bottom line, you get the gist of it. Keep your eye on something like that. And the opposite of that would be if you have a high volume up bar and then you're coming down and we're coming into the close. That would be just the opposite. And, you know, you only have to be, when you get an hour left, you only have to be one point of the spy out of the money. And, um, you know... <laughs> It's, yeah, it's the roulette wheel, except uh, the way I look at it, that roulette wheel is in your favor in a monster way, particularly if you understand how these work. Um, and th here's one other rule, folks, okay? This is how this works. And so when you are doing the, you know, I, I, I'd say a million times that when, you, when you're putting orders in like that, right, you don't put, like if you're buying or selling, an equity, you don't put a market order in, okay? Well, this is what the rule is inside the option market. And this, this goes all, this goes to all the bay wax that sells bandits. And what it was is this, what it is is this. 
You can do a 10 lot, and not normally on your brokerage account, as soon as you hit it, a 10 lot comes up anyway. You can do a 10 lot, but if you do a 10 lot and you do it, now I'm talking about on the spies and the Qs, not you know some other, something that's not liquid. You t I put a market order in. I put a market order in and getting in, a market order and getting out. You blow everyone away. It doesn't go through another computer. Um, that's a rule that they put in for retail traders in 1996, I think. Um, bottom line, take it for what it's worth. You know, I'll talk about it more, um, but you're, you're in and you're out pretty quickly. So let me go. Where are we going here? Okay, so I want to go to the bond market, TY. We take a look at the TYs. And why? Because what you're going to see here is that this contraction of volume is dramatic inside the bond market. So we're going into, you're going into the biggest one you're going into. That's, in, yeah, the, the first leg up was 4.3 million contracts. Your next leg was 1.6 million. Your next leg was 1.5. So those are the three legs up, right? Well, <laughs> yesterday, you know, you, you, you come down with the 775,000. Today, you're at 884,000. That's nothing, man. This thing looks to me like you're setting up an ABC structure on the way up. We get into the gold market. We take a look at the gold market out here. Where is she? So gold. Jeez. So gold market out here. That's running out at 118,000 today. You know, that's not a lot, of con lot of, not lot, a lot of contract volume, but it doesn't need a lot of contract volume. We still start getting up at these highs again. So what we're looking for now is that we are looking for a break of the B point once again, because this turned into a complex ABC structure on the way up. We had got below the B point yesterday. We did it with lighter volume. So as long as you do it with lighter volume, you're still in an ABC structure on the way up. And your B point once again is that 2,000. And 20, no, 2000, 2031, and your price projection is 2154. And then we go over to the dollar, and the, the dollar's a wild card here, man. It really is. It's like, you know, are you just going to, you know, take out lows here and, and blow some mines? Oh, you're going to get up and, you know, do that 0 0.382 retracement. And we'll find out. You know, it almost did it last time, but we'll see where it goes. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.